Hi, my name is Ami Deshpande, and I'm a dual degree MSW MPH student at the University of Pennsylvania. And I'll be presenting the results of my research, which evaluated the impact of a mindfulness-based stress reduction program on university students' mental health. So the prevalence of university students presenting with mental health concerns, such as anxiety, depression, and suicidal ideation, have increased over the past several decades. Research has found this to be a result of increased stressors in their lives, along with a decrease in societal stigma around mental health and seeking treatment. And due to the COVID-19 pandemic, students have reported worsening mental health conditions, along with an increased inability to cope. Universities can look to mindfulness-based interventions as prevention and treatment strategies for supporting students' mental health and well-being. Mindfulness-Based Stress Reduction, or MBSR, is an eight-week group-based modality developed by Dr. John kabat in the late 1970s. While rooted in Buddhist tradition, MBSR provides secular mindfulness and meditation training and has been found to positively impact university students' experiences with psychological health outcomes. However, the research varies as to what dose and duration of programs are most beneficial and time efficient for students. Our university's counseling center facilitated an MBSR program from spring 2016 to spring 2020, which was open to all undergraduate and graduate students on campus. It consisted of eight weekly sessions and a six hour day of mindfulness. Along with completing the program, students were asked to complete three online surveys, before the program, after week four, and after week eight. While a variety of data was collected, our evaluation specifically looked at some demographic data and the outcomes of four scales the five facet mindfulness questionnaire, the satisfaction with life scale, the counseling center assessment of psychological services, which looks at psychological distress, and the perceived stress scale. I, our hypothesis being that after the eight week program, students measures of mindfulness and satisfaction will significantly increase and distress and stress will subsequently decrease. Our study utilized descriptive statistical analyses of the demographic data, repeated measures ANOVA tests to compare pre and post survey data, and pairwise comparisons to compare data between pre and mid and mid and post surveys. Of the over 300 participants of the program, our study sample consisted of 90 students who fully completed all three surveys. Pulling a few findings from my table one, participants were predominantly white, female identifying, and graduate students at the university. Our findings supported our hypotheses and other research as we found positive significant change for each of the four outcome measures from before week one to after week eight of the MBSR program. The findings in figure one reflect the information from table two, which can be found in the poster earlier on. In addition, although the increase in satisfaction with life scores from pre to mid survey were not statistically significant, the remaining three measures had significant positive change from pre to mid survey and all four measures had significant positive change from mid to post survey. In addition, along with providing support to the use of traditional eight week programs, our results also provide support to the use of shorter programs. Three of our four outcome measures saw meaningful change from week one to week four, and this benefit only increased up to week eight. The limitations of the study include its relatively small and homogeneous sample size, selection bias, and a lack of control group. However, the study's strengths lie in its real world application, collecting data at the three time points, and its use of the general university population. Future research should look to collect data from diverse samples of students, as well as continuing to investigate the duration and dose of mindfulness interventions and their delivery method to ensure students receive maximum benefit from these programs while utilizing their time efficiently. In conclusion, the study supports the use of MBSR as a public health group-based approach to supporting students and their mental health needs. Universities can take an active role in providing students with these tools and resources to help manage their mental health and promote solutions for prevention and wellness. With future research and the creation of these programs, students' barriers to starting and maintaining practice can be addressed which can lead to the more successful integration of mindfulness as part of a larger university student wellness plan. Thank you so much for listening to my presentation. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at the address on the screen. And thank you so much for your time.